Now in this example, um, we kind of have questions that lead us um, to find the answer that we eventually want in order to write this trigonometric ratio uh, with the interior angle or this input angle to be positive and acute. Okay, so this is what we what we start with. First we ask ourselves in which quadrant does this angle lie? The angle 265. If we draw our cast diagram, there's our cast diagram. We notice that this is 180 degrees. That's 270 degrees, 90 degrees, and uh, 0 or 360 degrees. And 100, uh, 265 going clockwise would be in this quadrant. This is the first, second, third, and fourth quadrant. So in which quadrant does it lie? It lies in the third quadrant. Okay. In this quadrant, the output of the tangent function, in other words, now we're looking at that. What is the output of the tangent function in the third quadrant? And we see that we have a t here, and that t, remember, means that only tan is positive in this quadrant, so we can answer um, the output of the tangent function is positive. Okay, so if it is positive, we know that it's equal to the same uh, ratio in the first quadrant. Okay, so the next question that we need to know is what is the angle that 265 make with the x-axis? Okay, so if we take 265, it's somewhere there, it's not important where, just somewhere there. And now it makes an angle with the x-axis, and that's going to be the acute angle, the positive acute angle that we're talking about. And uh, if we go only to the x-axis, it was 180, so how much are we more than 180? Well, first 20 to get to 200, and then another 65. So 20 plus 65 gives me 85. Okay, so what is the angle that it makes with the x-axis? 85 degrees. Let's answer in the color. It's 85 degrees. So now if we have to simplify the tangent of 265 so that the input angle is positive and acute, we know while well, that tan of 265, in other words drawing a triangle here, where that angle is um, or from there to there is 265, then we know this interior angle is 85 okay and that would be the exact same triangle and if we draw that triangle in the first quadrant okay tan would all be positive here and positive de there so it is exactly the same as saying tan of 85 degrees